this is one of the issues like lots of people have problem with loading audio if you uh, load uh, audio from any other node so it doesn't work if you come here it doesn't work and the reason behind that is each of these nodes are having a different uh, decoding uh, format so and what we're going to do we're going to uh, create a new uh, uh, node so basically you can load audio for any uh, node and then it would convert to something that uh, wave to live except as an input and when you get this uh, deep fuse uh, lip sync you connect your video you connect your audio you select your enhancer this en enhancer only enhance and restore f faces and the second enhancer here is the one enhance the the frame so let's stay with like ultra sharp 4x a padding preview so you can see what is it so basically you can decide how much of around this face how you the box you create you want to see how the size of the box because sometimes especially if there's the ears is not matching so you just want to keep this area of the face to to use for lip sync and you want to keep the original face as much as possible so and for people they have a mac here you can use mps or if you don't have any uh, GPU you can use CPU and then CUDA if you have a very small uh, not very powerful machine you can uh, add a batch so basically it would divide your video to a couple of uh, batches you can work around that and the rest is I'm sure you guys know what is it so I'm not going to explain that and other things I personally if you work with a client or you want to uh, uh, you want to impress someone or for even for your social media i personally never use a video combine video combine is good for you preview it but you lose almost every uh, high quality work you have done you're going to lose it and lots of people they want to just go and later uh, enhance this video so but there's a better solution so you can basically we're going to preview here but there are so many great notes so you can basically uh, uh, save it as an image batch and you will get a very high quality let's just run this one while we're waiting for this uh, in the next 24 hours we also as i mentioned at the beginning of the video we integrated sad talkers so basically instead of video you can upload image or even if you upload a video you can select what frame of the video you want to select and that makes a uh, lip generation for you from image it's very good quality it's really great facial expressions and also we added weights so basically you can uh, you can change the facial expressions but that one is from just for image so for people they want to work with uh, videos so for now this is the only solution even uh, hollow is a very high quality it's very nice but again it's just an image we're done uh, it's already generated lip sync and here what i was talking so you can play with this uh, face mask padding when you change those numbers it would uh, change this uh, size of the padding and there is a preview here so you can directly like even before running any of those you can directly connect to your image and select one of the frames with the full face and then um, then set up your best number that works best padding for you to exactly where you want to cut it once you have those numbers you just import it here and then it would do the job so the, the things i was telling you look at the different quality where you get from this uh, very low quality video which like you barely can see anything despite the fact there are like lots of enhancement went through but if you come to this uh, image quality and you can get like really a very high quality 
uh, version and the good things about this and then you can just take this image to other applications such as like uh, Topaz or uh, Creo so and make this really uh, uh, very high quality up to 8k whatever you want or even for people professionally working with a client that would be great because then you can get your image batch and pass it to your VFX department for final retouching and digital makeup to make it really perfect and, and acceptable for commercial use. But the next one we want to talk is face swapping. You have enhancer for face and you can select the enhancer and then you have the different uh, swappers. So be careful when you, if you want to use those uh, commercially, you have to make sure uh, some of them are not available for commercial use. You have to get permit from the people that they own those models. So just be mindful of those, what you're using. So I, I personally like uh, this one even is 120 uh, pixel, 28 pixel still works better, better than 256 and 512 from uh, you can try it and test it maybe in some cases it works better for you so and and here you can enhance the frame and remember if you're working on cpu this frame enhancer adds lots of uh, adds it takes very longer time to 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 just use it and here there is a there's instruction of how you use this models if you go to the uh, or GitHub. So I summarize this for you here. So you can see, I personally always only use this one because it's very high quality and gives you the best quality. Obviously, the downfall is uh, it, it it needs more uh, power on your machine. But if you can afford that, it would be uh, the best solution this one so I always stick with this and here again you have the CPU for people they want to use it CUDA and MPS for Mac users so we stick with CUDA and I already run this you can see like that video turn to and here you can even like add a, another face restoration and then you can just like uh, bring this here and before you even pass it to and and here again there is a, a face mask padding so basically you can uh, you can preview your padding so to see how how it look like uh, what part do you want to change or not and also, as I always, I love to do that. So I, I, I'm a person always like to preview image because I like to, I like to judge the video based on the quality, the real quality, not the compressed version you get there. So now, right now, if we, if we do this, let's say just less frames, so it doesn't take too much time. Twenty five frames. Let's while we're waiting for this one, we go back here for uh, lip syncing. So now we have the uh, voice cloning technology here. So basically, uh, you can uh, uh, you can get this uh, voice cloning note, and you can directly connect this to the voice cloning note, and then you can anything you talk the the voice you choose here for voice cloning uh, it should be like 10 15 seconds uh, higher quality less noise you get better quality and then whatever you type here i this is a test so and so whatever you type here, uh, it's going to clone that voice and use that dialogue to generate lip sync. And uh, we have so many different languages here, so you can select from any languages you is available here. And one thing about selecting language, let's say if you want to use a Polish language, so you have to upload a Polish language audio. It doesn't translate that. So 
whatever language you are selecting, just make sure we are working and there would be an additional note which actually translate that to any language for you, but it's not released yet and it takes time for us to release that one. Until then, and the other things you can have here is you can connect to our LLM uh, notes, which is this one is uh, instead of your typing here, you basically whatever uh, you want, you just type it here and then you select your model and you manually input your uh, API key uh, from your uh, OpenAI account. And this doesn't save your API key. We intentionally don't want anything to be saved. So every time you have to, do, yes, you have to copy paste whenever you use this. And when you enter this, instead of typing anything here, so the computer would generate uh, something for you, which is uh, when you read it, it looks weird. So let me see if I have one in here. If you see some weird stuff, don't don't think what is this. So these are these are when it goes to the uh, uh, lip sync uh, note. These are become like really very important to deliver the acting methods. So. And yeah, so you can do that or even let's say you don't need even uh, any of those things. You just wanna use the whole voice cloning only. So you wanna clone voice instead of like 11 lab and other places. You wanna just uh, clone voice here. You connect this to uh, diffuse save audio. Basically here, you will have option when you run this, it lets you to download or train your uh, audio. And you can basically just use this by itself without connecting it to anything else, just as a voice cloning solution with 10, 15 seconds, you can get very nice uh, voices. So, and another application is, let's say you don't need voice cloning at all. So you just wanna have your large language model and you want to use it for creating uh, prompts or other inputs for the notes that accept uh, text as an input. So what you can do, uh, if you go to uh, RG3 and there is a note, it's called display any. So this way you can see what uh, what this LLM node is generating. So you can see the output here. And you can start like using this as a standalone instead of going back and forth to your chat GPT or any other uh, places. You can ask questions here and get the answers and you can, you can use it the way you use LLM. Or you can just connect this to any node you want to get this response that is created to transfer to another route. And here, yeah, here we're done. So you can see these are the, the padding box here and it's already uh, created the, the face swapping, very high quality, like it's almost flawless because it's it, there are lots of uh, a back end processing to combine all these different enhancers, frame enhancers, and also the option that gives you to detect the face with the different models and the padding solution. These are all very valuable. As I said earlier, you get a very high quality if you uh, export it as an image batch. It's already like very good. Just you can easily like just enhance this image and and use it and this one is after face rest restoration you can see it's even get better so it it works perfectly and uh, before we uh, I let you go so this is a very basic like you just get this uh, let's say like 50 frames here so you just load your audio or if you want to clone something and you generate lip sync and then you uh, use a face swap 
uh, swap it and then you can export it and like you can also add all those like image previews and then eventually you can when you're happy with you can save it as an image batch so i'm sure you know how to use it so i don't need to explain that and as i mentioned earlier uh, it is going to be additional notes for a uh, uh, image to lip sync and then you can basically swap that image even later and uh, we are working on pre-processing, post-processing, a full uh, audio set of notes. So basically you can amplify them, you can clean it, you can just do lots of post-processing before even generating your lip sync. Thank you so much.